update as update. Got this big gap here, but don't don't look at that bit. This bit. I mean, again, that bit there is going in that section there, just out here. And then that bit will be like a finish. But then, yeah, the, the whole thing is nearly. That's braced. That's braced. That bit there, I had to put in so that bit didn't come off. But yeah, after that, get that on. Get this little mess on somehow, or any bit of damp proof. Put well, I put a couple off cuts on it and um, just hold it down because it did rip off when I had it without the frame. And then get the boards ordered for the roof, whack them on, get the rubber roof ordered, whack that on, and get the, get the outside cladded, which I might do tomorrow. I might put the battens on, which battens are really expensive, um, those blue ones. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I might do that tomorrow. So you have the air gap down the side, and then yeah, all the it's not hopefully it's not too much more money you've got to order the boards for the roof the rubber roof and then maybe some little trims here and there then the cladding and the paint depending on what cladding i get if i get wooden cladding then paint but uh yeah and then the insulation oh yeah then the cs and then the boards inside okay maybe it's a bit more money uh but yeah it's just you know it's nearly a building it's nearly sealed uh it's nearly complete <laughs> inside it's nearly complete structure and then we've got to work on the fine details like uh not letting any water more water in um, but obviously that will help by the roof <laughs> Right, it's a little later on in the day um obviously that's still the same i'm going to fix start on that in a minute so basically i'm going to put a little wedge in there put those screws in it solid then cut the excess off and then we have another off cut but i've got um battens to batten the outside all like loads of strips and kind of thing for the ready for the cladding i'm only going to go to like where the step ends because then i'm i'm going to put some deck in here to cover up this section or stones that's gonna be a lot of stones though so um yeah i'm gonna go from there and then to the roof obviously and then it'll be ready for the cladding dep depending on what cladding i get yet but i've got some mesh which is going to go at the bottom um i'll put in a clip now it's going to go on the battens when i put them all on because it stops all like bugs and stuff going up the you know the air gap that i'm trying to create and there was a pack of 10 i, I said to myself i didn't need 10 and then that was 23 pound then i paid i got seven which i needed and uh it was 26 pounds so i didn't do any maths there so i didn't go well but yeah the inside i mean look look at all the roof it's all done so i've got to put all those in as well so that one's nice and solid nice and wet as well um but yeah it's actually a pretty decent size in here like if i stand in the corner got plenty of room so over there like the little counter with the where all the drawers and stuff are gonna go so far i'm still not quite sure on the on the bike situation because like if one's there, it could fit, one fit there. But if I hang them up here, which was the intention, I could get probably three on this wall and maybe the rocker right next to it. But then the, the sofa might have to sit a bit further forward and then it'd be quite difficult getting um, bikes out. But uh, I don't know. But that's all later when it's actually sealed and finished, which isn't that far off. So basically I've just got to finish all this bit, measure the roof to make sure I get the right bit. Nice bird there. <laughs> um, board the roof uh, i'm going to put some this damp proof stuff i'm going to try and unfold this or just get a new roll get a new um cut off piece of it put that over put a few of the off cuts of the osb on the top just to keep it down so the w the wind doesn't come in and just blow it out and then board underneath on the outside so like in this section here um so the wind don't go in there put the door on lock it because we've got the key and stuff uh, which is pretty, I'm, i find that way cooler than it is just have a key but uh and then, uh, yeah, then board it, then put the rubber roof on, trim it around the edge, and then it's sealed inside, and then the inside starts. Which, well, I've literally put one in since that last clip. So I'm basically gonna trim down the edge of that when the cladding's on, because the cladding's only gonna come up to here. And obviously the door's quite set back in there. Um, but obviously, as you can see there, I'm nailing it in, because apparently that's what you're supposed to do. And 
I, forget, I mean, they're not too bad. They're only thin uh, nails, so uh, it's not too bad, but a bit of manual uh, work. <laughs> right, all of the battens are out. There we go. Loads there, loads there, loads there. This section, I wasn't really sure, so I've got loads of the offcuts just kind of in there. Because I don't know if I'm going to put like a little block, like a bit, bit of timber in the corner just to make it look a bit neater. This side's all done. We got them in the back. And this side I've left because I, I've only got two of these left. And I've got a few of like the thicker pieces I had. Um, like that bit. There. And then I've got two of those. But uh, I see what I want to do with the back because it doesn't, it literally doesn't matter because no one can see. But I just want it to be like, you know, it's not, not to have any leaks or anything. And then it's going to be filled with stones all the way down here. And then I've got a, um, like a water thing, a tank. I can't remember what it's called. But uh, it's going to go down there because the gutter is going to run along here and then down into that. So this is the stuff I was on about. So it's basically going to go like that on there. So basically the, then the gap at the bottom is covered and I'm, hopefully if i've got enough i'll do the top as well but the top doesn't really matter as there's going to be like the filled in of the roof but uh yeah i saw i've seen a, one or two people do this um and it basically just like well it blocks the gap as you can see so uh, i'm going to do that now I'm, I'm, i didn't mention as well i just debated but i reverted back to the screws because uh the nails weren't really holding it in um they weren't holding them flat and they just kept pulling out kind of thing so yeah screws in tell me what's the deal does it sound fair if things aren't right would you still be my homie regardless it don't matter cause you don't care i pick up clear signs so i'd rather be lonely tell me what's the deal does it sound fair if things aren't right would you still be my homie regardless it don't matter cause